Alf gone. Our camp is just here. When the field... We are the men of Lincolnshire. Remember it. My ancestors fought with the old kings of Lindsay. It's for their memory we fight today. Oh. I must say, I expected a rather different outcome, but no matter. You cannot unthrow a stone from a creek. Our warsmith has arrived. The Feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Avel, we are ever so glad you came. How could I not? It was my vote that got you into this mess. The bishop caught us unaware. He claims to have taken this shire in the name of some sort of religious order. The Order of Ancients. That's the one. Do you know what he means? I may. As our hastily elected ailerman, I advise we attack quickly. ...before he can rally more troops. We attack now. Ready the field. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Mm. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along.
point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He he's he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabless coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Bishop and Elderman. Those are two high titles for one man to hold here, Rid. Rest assured, I carry both with ease. The Lord saw fit to grant me the strength and clarity I need to rear the Shire. You turned out to be an excellent tool of the Lord's will. You don't understand what an honor that is, but perhaps in time, you will. I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I did baste myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Hedavrid. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. You fought as one possessed by a demon today. Herefrid may yet have allies in Mercia, members of his secret order, but the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. You're a good fit for Elderman, Elfgard. Just make sure you put the Shire's needs above your own. Of course. I'd not be the man I am today without this land, these people.
It's a shame Hunwald was not fit to don his father's boots. But he can bring joy to the people here. Treat him well. Yes, about that. I believe he has a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. About? Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it. We are bonded now. Your people and mine. I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and you are a better friend to me than any here. Would it be an imposition to ask... Well... Could we live with your clan? Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her. And to me. Of course you may. We'd be happy to host you, ferocious swan. And your charming dame. Come when it suits you. Oh, yes! Uh, I'll pull my weight, I promise. And fight when needs be. And I won't drink more than I'm allotted. You fight with us, Hunwald, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. This means... It means the world to me. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. Fires are out in Lincolnshire. They stand with us again, with Alfgar as their elderman. Let us hope he proves a more reliable friend. I want to see the Alliance map. mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now, and I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydon by now.
breadbasket of Wessex, land of plenty. Go, Zulin. be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, good Drum Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl, I'm sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane, and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's guard with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croindene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfield. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised.
my eyes, Sunan. Stretch your wings, Sinan. Best brace my hood here. Tell no tales to Fouke now. A scout patrols the riverbank north of Crowley. Have a look, Sunin.
Okay, scout. Like that Besson said he would be. Orders from Fuke. I should show this to Besson. Once I've dealt with the others. They said there would be a scout on this hill. I smell blood on the air. Basim and Guthrum will be waiting in the woods east of Porchester. Aid me, be my eyes. The scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Croydon's fall. She is gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I'm reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breast and fight.
kill them here or behind the walls of Porchester. Either way, they die. And To Porchester! They flee like rabbits! Then we chase them like owls! That ugly bastard's head is mine! Not if I get there first, slow arse! Leave him! The day is already won! Found you, Saxon. You'll join your friends soon enough. Is it for that withered bag of skin you? You bear your false deities like a plague to this land, but you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. I will not. Go and tell Fulke what you saw today. Tell her Ava is coming to tear her heart from her chest. I will tell Fulke her opponent is a weakling who does not have the stomach to finish what they started. You will regret you this mercy. Him. You are wounded, Broder. Let me bear your brother to the camp. Stripling, I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? You knew the danger as well as I did, Guthrum. You saw opportunity, and you took it. Indeed. The fault is none but mine for putting my trust in you. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. 
What you need is to swallow your pride, Raven Feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I am no errant child to be talked down to by my elders. No. You are supposed to be a leader. So listen now. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift, gather your allies, pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I heard and heeded. I'm not too proud to admit my mistake. Then there is wisdom in you as well. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stowe, Lufina, right there ahead of me. Together, we will bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people, but a debt is a debt. Besides, they're men of Vasex, Alfred's folk, no brothers of yours. We will set off immediately. Together, we will fall upon them as Thor's hammer. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gildefort, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley, food in Gildefort. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uba, I need your axe arm at Gildefort. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I will join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uba, I apologize. I would like to offer a better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here sooner. How does it look? Crawling with Saxon soldiers like lice on a swine. The very sight sours my blood. Would the sight of their bodies in the mud please you better? One way to find out. Eivor, I beg you. Alfred's men or not, they are Saxons and Christians. If I could speak to them, we might avoid bloodshed. And lose the element of surprise? These people make their living by the blade. We should attack headlong. You know the people of this isle better than I, though. I trust you. Thank you, Eivor. I will do what I can. Brave soldiers, my name is Stowe, Reeve of London. And this Dane at my side is Reeve Erke. He is my partner in London. Together, we see that justice is done. But more, he is my friend. In London, we live in harmony with the Danes. So could you. But your king does not share our philosophy. Alfred bleeds his land dry. Works you all to the bone for a needless war. Now he wants you to die for it. So I beg you, in God's name, walk away from this camp. 
I will find you new and worthy employment in London. You are good men, and true. I would not want this day to be your last. This one's right. The Danes are here to stay, like it or not. What good's dying now? Don't be a lackwit. Soon as you drop your swords, they'll murder us. That's no heathen talking, he's a Saxon. I, for one, believe him. Come on, lads. It's a new life in London for us. Better that than dying here in the mud. We'll deal with you traitors later. The rest of you... Great try, friend. But now we do things my way. When words fail, iron speaks loudest. Is ours. That wasn't so hard, was it, Stoll? Even one man's death is too many. Now I must see about destroying Fulke's supplies. to cloak myself in. All is ready? We're a town of farmers and shepherds. This place bristles with swords. One of them is a thane by his dress. Serious men with him, too. Went into the longhouse. If we take care... We might avoid drawing the Thane's attention while we burn the grain silos. Ha! <laughs> Was that a jest? Bring them on! Been too long since I met a Saxon warrior worth half the shit. Show me.
spotted us. Just working up a sweat. There will be Saxons enough to test you in Porchester. I will hold you to that. See you at the camp.
forest of Saxon swords and waits within those walls of stone. We should consult this battle. We'll be nearby. What have you discovered? Bridgeware swarms with guards. Reinforced from the river. Word is that two of Fulke's finest oversee such matters. We should kill these leaders and burn their ships. Crippled and put to panic, their men will be in no place to join Fulke at Porchester. Frightened men look to their own interests. A good plan. I need your eyes, my friend. Soon in, guide me. What do you see, Sunan?
side must be barred. my way. Now the boats. We burn them to the waterline. I am with you.